The church collapse in New London tonight as the cleanup continues. There are mounting questions about how this happened and what can be done to keep it from happening to a different historic structure. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Brian Reed is live at the scene with what we are learning tonight. Brian. Well, Stephanie, right now the area is staged with all, torts, all types of construction and heavy-duty equipment for what we believe will be tomorrow's start to the demolition process. They're all right around the corner there. Now, the city says that at this very moment, it's too early to tell what caused the collapse, and the mayor actually says that we may never know what caused it. But the city says they would now identify other buildings and take a closer look at them. I mean, it's, it's heartbreaking. Um... I mean, it's heartbreaking, uh, uh, you know, and I'm not the only one that feels that way. New London's mayor choking back tears tonight as a historic church lay in ruins. With speculation and questions still surrounding the church collapse, the building was declared a total loss. The entire structure will have to be demolished. New London leaders held a press conference to discuss the structure's previous history. So as of uh, 2011, this structure was deemed to be uh, safe. The previous owners, the First Congregational Church, commissioned an engineering study in 2011. According to the report, although there are a high number of recommended repairs for both the church and parish house, the building shells are in good condition. The city says they don't perform routine building inspections, but will now take a closer look at other aging buildings in the city. We certainly have identified a number of structures that we're looking into and we'd like to be reassured. To many in the community, the collapse is devastating, but history professor Chris Kervick says like all things, older buildings are more susceptible to wear and tear. Unfortunately, uh, buildings of this vintage, these, these lovely buildings, they're always at risk uh, for, um, for decomposition. Kervick says the current church was the second building at that site. Materials from the first were salvaged to build what we see present day. Now he hopes a similar process can be done to help preserve some history, but that may not be possible. The engineers were actually, what they were evaluating today was whether or not any of the remaining structure could be salvaged. The eventual determination was it is it is entirely too severely compromised uh, to salvage any of it. To this point, we know a gas explosion has been ruled out. And officials say after three to four days of demolition, they may still never know what caused the collapse. And of course, with that demolition set to happen, officials say that some of the surrounding buildings may be difficult to get to, most notably the post office. Police say give them some time. They'll mark out a safe path, safe path for the surrounding areas. And then, of course, you'll be able to get to those buildings and businesses safely. In New London tonight, Brian Reed, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Brian, thank you.